That's crazy. And the, you also have to be careful of not overshooting. About like Awesome. And right here. Beautiful smile. Thank you. What was clear from uh, the script that David wrote with Toby Holbrooks was that he wanted to dig a little deeper into why Hook was the way he was. And so I suppose adding a little three dimension, I suppose, adding a little backstory really gave me a chance to recognize or draw out the damage. And I wanted to plant him very firmly in a and understand him as a real person um, and not just as, a, as the villain, you know. Um, so I hope that that would make him therefore a little more scary, a little more sympathetic and at times funny. What's interesting about Hook is that he symbolizes, I suppose, taking the wrong path, growing up wrong, damaged. The scar that heals over the scar that heals over the scar, and that's a kind of interesting perspective. I realised that I wanted I wanted to really draw on his ageing face, his greying hair, his his uh, his battle wounds, you know, and, and both emotionally and physically. Well, I think David has done a great job of not trying to fix something that isn't broken. He's been very respectful of the original um, book. He's been very respectful at times of, of, of the other great iterations. He was always a great fan of the other films. And there were certain areas where, in hit to use his words, you know, there were certain elements that he felt couldn't be done any better, couldn't be, couldn't be bested. So why go there? So why not look at it through a different lens and uh, make it a, an iteration that is of this time? Peter Pan for me is one of those stories that I don't even remember when I heard it for the first time. I just feel like I've always known it. Uh, and so it's cool to reprise a character that lives so large in our imaginations and in our lives. She buzzes around at the beginning of every Disney movie and kicks them off. And so uh, it's really special to be able to play a character that I think I've truly grown up with. I love the fact that the magic still feels real, that core fairy tale that we've loved through each of them still feels real and still feels there, but boy is it emotional in the best way. I think it takes, this movie takes that central theme of never wanting to grow up, but really expands it through each character. And so sitting in as a 23 year old, I already knew I was going to like the film, but I didn't realize how emotionally resonant it was going to be until I was sitting there. But I was so thrilled to be involved, and obviously David Lowry is just one of uh, America's great filmmakers. And I loved um, the ambition behind it, and uh, it was really fun to kind of consider, you know, being a parent. Because you realize, I realize, I kind of played Mr. Smee as this parent that's getting beat up by this brat, which is Hook. To play a role that is so special to so many different people all around the world, it's, it's such an honor. Yes. I grew up being read the J.M. Barry book when I, was, when I was really little, and, and I grew up on the animated classics. So to me, it meant, it meant so much. Wendy is such a big part of my childhood. I think that fans will instantly recognize these characters that they've grown up knowing and loving, but fleshed out with new backstories and reimagined for a whole new generation to enjoy. The thing that I took away from it is just don't be scared to grow up. Being able to play Tiger Lily and remake it in such a beautiful, good way with Disney, I think it's, it's meant everything to me. I think a lot of it had to do with living in that child realm that you have, but also being okay to grow up 
And then also what Tiger Lily says, keep the past in your heart, but know where you go from here is up to you.